Hey guys, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. Uh, we're doing a weekly plan with me today, which um, I, I'm trying something else for a change. <laughs> I've been using the uh, Rolling Weeks insert from my shop number 67 since, let's see, December, the last week of December, is that all? Or is that the beginning of December? Beginning of December. So for two, and a half months now. Um, sorry, no, no, that's not right. This isn't even, <laughs> this is a different one. This is insert 21. And then I started using it in mid-December. So for two months now. Um, and because I haven't actually taken these out because I've been going back to back to back to back instead of dealing with like delineating months at a time. Um, I just kind of kept going and so now here we are uh, mid-February and I'm recording this on the 15th. I'm out of Day of the Week stickers. I have an order from Mad Hatter that's on its way. Um, but so I'm going to finish out this week. It's Tuesday now. I'm going to finish either you know here and then like on this column on the back of it and then take all of this out and I have printed out a new insert and when I say new, I mean, I've never used it before. <laughs> this is insert 66 from my own shop. Um, so this is available uh, now as of like, I released in December, so it's new. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep saying, did you know it's new? <laughs> and so I'm going to be here setting it up live on camera for the first time ever. Um, so I will probably be changing things up as I go um, and start to use it more and more. And I'm sure that I will be using it into next month too. So. I post one of these weekly plan with me videos like once a month so you will be able to see uh when we get to mid-march uh how you know what i've learned about how i like it and stuff i'm just over here grabbing a washi tape from my purse i carry stuff around with me this section up here is designed uh to fit your standard roll of washi tape. I forget now off the top of my head how wide these are. But you know, like the, the most common size. Uh, and so that is what I'm going to do. I'm using this floral washi tape that I got like way back in 2016 when I first started bullet journaling um, from Daiso. There you go. It's kind of a, there you go, kind of stretchy if you're not careful. So that's the color scheme we're going for. I've got a couple of these highlighters and we're just going to kind of, let's start with that, like highlighting sections. I'm going to do like work schedules and I'm not sure actually I haven't given it all of the thought in the world let's see I'll do this and this I am going to use this as a habit tracker because I can actually think of a few things that could be tracked let's see uh, don't forget would work for that. I was going to put no school because there's no school on this Monday. Don't forget. Now I'll just kind of go over the... It's kind of big. This is a little sampler that came free with an order from Planner Kate. Um, and then I have the no school one, but I don't know if that's going to fit. Maybe I'll have to put it sideways. Let's go ahead and label all of these dates. Um, let me look at the calendar here. This is going to be the week of the 21st. So it's President's Day. Three, 
27. This whole period of time that I've been using the Rolling Weekly, it's been working really well for me because I was kind of in a period of time where I felt like, um, like the whole concept of a week wasn't even applicable. It was weird. Um, and now that the, the work move has been finished, hoping for pink washi tape um so like things are on a schedule again a little bit more and so it just feels like um like things are kind of settling down everyone's healthy again and so no one's getting held out of school thank goodness knock on wood and uh that is why i feel like it is finally time to come back to a weekly schedule a weekly um like I definitely had another thin washi that was a lighter pink than this. Here it is. That's the one. That and we've got some spring temperatures coming. This is crazy. Um, I'm crazy. But I planted some tomatoes on February 12th. Um, because the weather is getting hot, my brassicas are bolting. I'm like, well, I have tomatoes that survived all winter long, so I think they can handle a couple of weeks of, you know, down to 60 degrees. You know, it's getting cooler again this week. But when I say cooler for my region, it's like in the 60s. It's the coldest. So they can handle that. It's not going to, like, frost or anything. And uh, maybe I'll get some tomatoes this year before the weather gets really hot because last year I planted them really late had a lot of dropped blossoms and stuff anyway I did a whole video about my garden plans um just like two weeks ago so you can check that out do I have I have to go to call today goals yeah okay I'm gonna sort of put a header here even though there's not a line for it i'll put goals here why not because that's the other thing i'm trying to set like weekly sort of ideas i was hoping for a to do next week that's useful so for example i just want to go out and like check on the garden because like I tried to start some seeds and then I let them dry out but like as soon as I started watering them again everything's going okay I planted some more seeds in the little trays and it's gonna be okay but I want to check on the garden every day um I want to remember maybe vitamins for the girls uh, for Agnes I mean um because that's something that gets forgotten a lot. Anyway, uh, I'll be adding to this. And then this is my work schedule. I think I might have, do I have some work headers? This is going to be kind of a hodgepodge. Let's see, to call, lunch, dinner. All right, dinner I'm going to want. Evening nap time errands morning chores content oh that's what i'll do with the other one and then i do have these to do's i just lost them these to do's these to do's and importance this week. I desperately need to set up the uh, the sticker journal that I keep promising because it's all very disorganized right now, unfortunately. So I also have some other planner kittens here. Let's see. Gosh, I forgot I even had these. Uh, this week, dinner, 
to do. Yeah. All right. Does anyone else's planner setup look exactly like this in the middle of it all? Uh, let's see. I think I might go for like the. Uh, I'll throw in the sweet tea up here. This is a general to do list for the whole week. I think dinner's going to be up here. This is going to be work, and I unfortunately do not have a work header. So I'm just going to have to do that with a pen. I'm not going to go for anything fancy. Um, I just wanted to mark down because like this week it was a two day work from home. Next week is a three day work from home. I don't want to keep forgetting which is which we have worked out a schedule. Thank goodness. And it goes through at least until my maternity leave starts. Um, for goals, I do have up here in the front section. I finally did after last week when I was flipping through my whole planner and I was showing you this here that hadn't been used yet. Um, I did actually set it up a little bit. These little highlights are the weeks that I'm going to be on maternity leave. So this is how much time I have until that starts. Um, and so one of the projects for next week is going to be income taxes. So I'm just going to write that here. Um, again, that says that was the no school day, which I've lost now. Well, this might be the least organized Play With Me video I've ever filmed. Here we go. Found it. Because why not? I'll just put that like this. So why not? I don't know. I think it's repositionable if it needs to be. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to put here yet. Um, but I might just, I might just figure that out as we go. Um, let me look at my calendar. Let's see. Oh, I had a next week thing. Oh, the 22nd. Okay. Yeah. I have to pull the echinacea out. I put that up here. I think I'm going to put events up here and tasks here. So I'm just going to write 22nd here. Um, the echinacea seeds in the fridge are over, or what's it called? Cold layering. Um, they're going through a simulated winter right now. And that's the only thing you can see this monthly is not busy in terms of like things. There are some dentist appointments, but my husband was taking care of those. Only one prenatal appointment. So it's actually nice. I will fill things out with events if as they come up. Things will probably, oh, I know I have, I know we have like a, I'll put TK meeting. Because I don't know what time it is yet either. It's just like a Zoom meeting, but um, it's for like next year's school. She moves on from preschool to transitional kindergarten, which is the next step. And I'm going to leave these headers as is. I think they're fine. Like I said, I'll figure out what goes here. The to-do list gets filled out basically like when I'm done with this week, cause I'm still planning out, um, this week and hopefully we'll get some of the stuff done or, you know, reprioritize it and then we'll move forward what needs to get done next week onto next week. Um, I think that the bottom section would be good for dinners, but again, it may not be necessary because we just have our meal plan back here. This is just sort of a list of everything we've got in the fridge or, you know, available to make. And it's also on our family calendar because that way it's accessible to my husband who's been doing more of the cooking now since he is between jobs and I am commuting more. So, or one of the days where I'm commuting. That's it, man. 
was today it was today a good video for you <laughs> i feel very discombobulated with all of these like stickers all over at my desk which you can't even see because they're off camera um but i think i think i'm feeling like ready to to plan a week and a chunk at a time to have goals to do during a week you know instead of just having like a nebulous to-do list that keeps rolling over and never gets touched <sighs> that didn't happen oh these little stickers are in the back they would actually fit nicely if there was events and stuff i think those would be just about the right size for these boxes actually so that's cool um yeah, I might try to do like some evening plans. I think I'm switching up my morning and evenings because I used to like go to bed really early and then wake up really early, but I haven't been needing to wake up as early because I can do things like this during my lunch break when I'm working from home. Um, and so I don't need to get up at 4.30 anymore, which I think is probably good. The girls really love snuggling in the morning and I do too. So I'm pushing my mornings back and also pushing back my bedtime by like an hour or so, so I can get stuff done in the evenings a little bit, um, and also spend more time with my husband who is in a, a night owl. And I think that's it. It's a lot of talking, not a lot of doing. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely stay tuned to my Instagram where I post a, um, a weekly setup like shot every week on my Instagram page. It's also Genshi Plan, so you'll be able to see um, how this is evolving over the next month or so until the next weekly Plan With Me video, which will be sometime in March, and you'll get to see um, how I am liking it, what I'm doing differently from this, um, and I will probably have fallen into a groove. Hopefully it will be a productive one, but at least it will be, you know, more polished. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe if you did, because I love you too, and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Bye!